The squad making sure we all win. Smoke a lot, radio, we going all in. Silla, I'm the host with the most smoke. Rolling up the most dope. Kato got the most dope. Simone Taylor, keep it sexy for the grown folks. I'm OG, tone low, bouncing on them ghost folks. Smoke, we the number one podcast. Some other shows, all trash. Amber Rose, all ass. Broadcasting live from the coast. Sick of Mitty with the jokes. Come and get your ass, bro. <laughs> Let me ask another question, man. So was the song that we did for my album the first song you ever did with Nate Dogg or you and Nate Dogg did songs before that? Because we did So Ignorant, Me, You, Corrupt, and Nate Dogg for Thugged Out the Abolition in 99. 98, actually. That was like, that was the first time. You lying. Damn. Damn, bro. I had the first fucking song <laughs> with motherfucking cocaine and Nate Dogg on the man. same fucking song. You yeah. lying. Yeah. You heard it here first hey, on Smoke Alive Radio. Yeah, correct. Uh, nigga, hey, man, that thing is legendary, man. We got a uh, point at that thing, man. Hey, there you go right there. That's that, that thing. I got to send your yeah. plaque, too, nigga. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, I'm, you know I that thing be, I'm, I'm did. registered yeah. with the IRA, so I'm good. Yeah, good to you. Tell them to you send your thug out, nigga. Yep, yeah, that yep, thing yep, did what Yeah, but that was, that was classic. But me and Nate, we went to do... Uh, um, on the East Siders, uh, in the ghetto, um, we did Bottom Girl. Our blend together was just incredible because I consider Nate Dog like the Steve Arrington of our time, like Silky Soul with it. He has those natural gospel tones in his stuff. Yeah. Me, when it came to cocaine, you can't put a, just one style on cocaine because I did it. I did a little bit different of everything, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, just as well as bus. You know what I mean? You got a book coming? I got a book called The Making of a Legend coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I plan to do a docuseries because there's a thing, there's things that NWA, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things that are left out. And I understand they wanted to pack the seats and they did that. So I don't knock the hustle. I was going to ask you about the movie. How much, give me a percentage of fact that was going I, on with the I would story. Say, line. I, I would say 40%. Oh, yeah. There's some intricate things left out. That's a low fucking score. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's not you're not eligible. With you 40%. Could, the reason why I say that because you could it, it doesn't take one movie to explain this. It would have to be docu series. It has to, to be a series. This. It has to be like power. So that's be, why, like New Edition. Not, it had to be yeah, like how not, they did New Edition. Like New Edition. Yeah. yeah. It had to be like how they did New Edition. How they started when they was kids, all the way up to where yeah. it is now. Yeah. I, and I'm not dissing it, of course. I ain't no hater. I'm just saying because one movie can't explain it. That's why I say it's 40% true. Oh, Were you God. reached out to for any involvement or any insight? No, nah, Tamika Wright didn't probably want me out there. That's why. You know what I'm saying? But I, I left that alone. Okay. You know, they, they, they the, you know, those guys have a legacy. They were able to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Those guys are instrumental in my career. Above the Law Career DLC, and the list goes on. The tree go on. So to sit here and say, you know, I, I, I'm going to be upset because certain things. No, man. Those guys told it how they want to. They packed the seats. But you got to look on the positive side. It gave me a whole bunch of leg room to tell factual stories. And so I ain't mad. Me. I'm not mad yeah. at it. I'm just, it, it's actually turned out to be a blessing to for whatever reason not be mentioned so I, I actually i'm happy that the way things are going you know what i'm saying i'm a, let, let me not not to interrupt you but the thing that that go back was really mad at he was like nigga easy ain't never been broke selling weed my nigga and had mm -hmm. niggas bagging up weed and struggling and stuff no nah, no nah, that's some bullshit he never been down the street crying not my homeboy not my big bro Easy was a soldier to the last drip drop of his breath. But let him let him know his catalog that he had running up numbers right before he died. He had Bone Thugs. Who else he oh, had? Yeah. Oh, he had BG Knockout, Drakester. Of course, he had Above the Law, Cocaine. Um, that's a Sonic. I mean, that's a uh, that's that's J.J. Fag. J.J. Fag. I said J.J. Fag. J.J. Fag. <laughs> 
<laughs> JJ Fair. <laughs> I called this nigga Stetson Sonic. I called the female. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be like Stetson Sonic. <laughs> You said JJ Sonic, <laughs> no. so JJ Sonic. No, you, 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 I fucked mm, him up. My bad. It was it, that was because of me, man. He didn't do that. I, nah, I said, nah, nah, look, Sonic you you had uh, originally they were called the Adband Clan, but now they were called the 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 um, Black Eyed Peas. You know, Easy discovered them. That's who we had, my nigga. You know niggas don't saying? know we had the Black Eyed fucking Peas, man. Yeah, Easy. And and I remember uh Triple Six Mafia sent they demo in. He was gonna mess with them on some things. You know, that's Easy Easy I, I, was I, incredible. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? we had. Not, we had we had Mr. Late DLC. I was, I was bragging on that. Easy. I said he had one of the <coughs> super duper groups that y'all don't know about. Mm-hmm. Black eye fucking peas, but continue, my nigga. Go ahead. Yeah, we he he had it on lock, you know, Ruthless Mafia. You know, he had it on lock and at the time. Where essays wasn't really, really getting along with brothers and vice versa. He 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 had the balls to say, nah, you know, Toker, Brownside, uh, Kid Frost, you know what I mean? It wasn't about the color, it was about the heart. You know, easy seen something. He was a visionary at a time when we was gangsted out, hustling out. We didn't really understand the scope of how big Bone Thugs and Harmony would be. But not easy. Easy understood that, man. I, I, we used to be like, what's this? But then when Easy got a hold of it, we learned, we was like, okay, it might not be the G Funk and this, but they we digging them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like, it was like easy, man. Just he was incredible, bro. You know, he had ideals to sell speakers in cars and skateboards, tapping the stuff long before Dre and Lil Wayne. He left an imprint, man, a blueprint. And it's just like, you know, to 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 have a movie like that, NWA, you know, I get it. They want to pack seats and make money. Yeah. But at the same time, people want people want to hear the in-betweens. People, you know, don't want to speculate. You know what I'm saying? And and they don't want things to just completely have a false narrative about it and only tell half truths just to pack the the theater. You know what I mean? So that's where we come in when you hear you go, Max and Laylaw. You know, those are stories that that we were disciples, like to 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 a Jesus. You know what I mean? Yeah, we were yeah. there as well as participant. Man, Go Mac had told a story. Him and DLC had did an interview, him, DLC, and Law. They posted on the mm-hmm. gram. And mm-hmm. some motherfuckers was going against him, like, oh, you hate, you hating, like, damn. So when you tell your story, now all of a sudden you hate him? Like, go ahead and say something you know, about, about his last encounter with EZ. I ain't going to say it on this platform. You know, you right. can go to the, the Ball and Podcast and check it out. Wow. But he said something, and everybody thought it was disrespectful, but that's what type of relationship that him and EZ had. You know what I mean? They don't know yeah, how yeah. Go Mac and Laylaw and Easy go back to the streets. You know what I mean? Not no rap shit, street yeah, shit. Yeah, this, you know this I mean? when when Easy E had an orange bug and 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 doing you know handling his business and and Go Mac, you know, and Laylaw, they was pushing their thing and Hudson that was doing their thing and Pomona, we all was there. And just like if you gonna tell the truth, you gonna tell the truth. And the way I took it. I didn't take I know I know Gomac love ECE, brother. Right. And it's like it's like brothers fight. I don't care what it going on. It'd be a different if they popped at each other. But it was right. some things going on to where if you have a family and 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 that person has a family and you put your hard on work at the end of the day, you don't want to t- come circumference of of not blaming it on just, you know, easy, but and, you know, people behind him really swindling checks and different things. You want to ask about it. Yeah. You know, any real nigga would. So for a nigga to sit up and there and say, you know, the brother was just hating. The reason why, because your ass wasn't there. He wasn't you there. No. You wasn't. And when you hear from the heart of the mouth, when you so busy, they so busy caught up in the fantasy of how that N.W.A. I told y'all it's 40% true. I know I'm not dissing them. I'm right. telling you, one movie couldn't tell a real story. So he just, for, for Gomac to get up there and say the real, that's what real niggas want to hear. 
not speculative niggas. Right. Right. Not not shit to get to fill up the seats in the movie theater, 40%. They want to hear the 100%. Yeah. They want us to hear the rest of that 60%. And we right. we we blessed enough to be here to tell the real, not right. hating it. And sometimes the truth is ugly. Sometimes the truth hurt because a lot of people have their narratives. But when some real facts come through and the in-between come through, yeah. it's going to make people feel uncomfortable, even though we're not trying to make people feel uncomfortable. We tell it outside. Which motherfucker got a right to do, man. Well, yeah, if a nigga like it or don't, that's your problem. But at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. We are, we OGs. We're here to share our stories and tell motherfuckers what to do and what not to do and show motherfuckers, you know what I mean, give you the blueprint without even having to do it. You know, yeah. take advantage of these OG stories and these OG sacrifices and shit that we tell to y'all. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. take a page out of niggas' books and add it to what you're doing right now. You're going to be way more sharper than you was just looking up to motherfucking videos and YouTube streams. Yeah. You know, and period. people people get tired of going to the WWF all the time because when oh, you go, the you know, WWF. Them a, them a preconceived move. Don't, it's very entertaining. But right. now, now the, these are the times where these kids are looking at us and they looking at everything they see and some of the things they see, they believe it like Donald Trump voters. Yeah. Knowing that this nigga lying, knowing that it's a couple things missing out. So it's really, it's really for us to, to have the playing fields fair. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to tell that real. And any real nigga on, the, you know, once used to be on the opposite position, they should respect that now because ain't no niggas tripping on each other. You know what I mean? So I, I think you have got to have a grown man approach about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And let it be known to people that really want to know what happened. Oh my mama. <laughs>